Hi, this is Kevin Phillips, and what I'm going to do in this video is show you a common, um, a common artifact that you sometimes run across when using the fracture tool in Modeler to fracture up complex shaped objects usually. So what I've done here is I've started with this uh, really simple, well, kind of weird looking 3D object, and I've run a Voronoi fracture over it, and I am going to just jump across to layout. So here we go. Here's the object, and I'm going to move this up in the air. Oops, at zero might help. Let's get back to frame zero. Go into the model tools. I'm going to go geometry, make a ground plane. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to go to FX tools. I'm going to turn the ground plane into a static body. And I'm going to turn this into a parts body. I'm going to let Lightwave do its job. Processing that. And then I'm going to play. And let's smash. Now I'll stop it there. And the thing you'll sometimes see um, when you fracture an object is little artifacts like this. And these are like little lone polygons that get left behind. Now these can be a real pain because the last thing you want to do is smash things up and watch these floating polygons everywhere. So what I occasionally do, and um, this is a handy little tip, is I'll go and find where that problem is and I'll try and rebuild those bits. So let's have a look at how we do that. I'm going to start by taking this smashed up version. I'm going to go File, Save, oops, Save Transformed Object. And let's just uh, save it as Artifact. That'll do. Yep. Go back to Modeler. Okay. Now, in here, it's already got a morph called Exploded that the Fracture Tool's made. It looks all right in here. You don't see that floating polygon anywhere. So let's, uh, let's go back to Base. Let's get layer 2, and I'm just going to go File, Load Object into Layer. So let's grab our artifact, and there we go. Okay, and there is our dodgy little polygon that's having problems. I'm going to go back to Layer 1, put this in the background, and just under Map, go Background to Morph. I'm going to just name it Find Boo Boo, that sounds pretty good. And there we go. So we've made a morph that looks just like that. So there's our base. Okay, we'll just get rid of layer two. It's always handy. Let's delete that. We've got our exploded morph and we've got our new find boo boo morph. Now the whole idea of this find boo boo morph is really just to find, oops, where are we? That leftover piece of geometry. So I can highlight it. And then what I'm gonna go is I'm going to go back to the base and have a look at uh, where it is and what's happening. And I can see what the fracture tool has done is it's actually caused this to create like a disconnection. It's not connected together. So what I'm going to do to fix this, okay, apart from zooming out so I don't accidentally select the geometry behind the object, is just take the polys around the edges of it. Okay, like that. Press equals just to hide everything else. And then I'm going to have a look at each end. And I can see straight away there's this break between these polygons. So the easiest way to fix it, simply go and weld the points back together. Easy. And at the other end, let's zoom out a bit. I can see here that this one is not connected so let's uh let's just weld these two i'm just attach it to that last one there that's it and then hide and it should be done so let's save that let's go back to layout okay layout all the hub is going to update that for me and at frame 57 voila my artifact is now gone so if I play that, it's no longer leaving anything behind. So there's a handy tip. Hopefully that'll be useful for some of you. Not always that easy to do because sometimes you'll get a lot more complicated uh, number of artifacts in there and some will be internal. But uh, see how you go.